from green trails. <laughs> Not suitable for two wheel drive. Oh well, let's see. We can still cross it, just walk it. Four wheel drive trail. Yeah, it's up to my knees now. No stopping. Epic long rides. In some proper mountain biking trail. <laughs> Finally, I'm confident on this bike. <laughs> What's up, you guys? So, for today, I think it's time for me to introduce to you my old new bike. This is the 2021 Merida Big Trail Cheapest Edition. So, so don't go away. So this is a 2021 all new Merida Big Trail 200 and for comparison this is the old one. It is made out of 6061 aluminum alloy and it has the following geometry numbers. And this is just a quick comparison against the competition. It is actually not bad for a 120mm budget enduro hardtail. Frame-wise, this bike has a boost space wheel set, internal cable routing, threaded bottom brackets, and three pairs of bottle cage bosses. You can fit bottle cages, morophits, and B-rad accessories all in one big triangle. Before we proceed to parts, I just want to explain its nomenclature. 200 is the cheapest on the Merida Big Trail lineup and 600 is the most expensive. All right, so let's start with the drivetrain. This is an all Shimano Dior 10-speed setup. The front chainring has 32 tooth and the rear derailleur has a clutch. The range of the cassette is 11 at the smallest and 46 to the biggest. I did not acquire this bike new and I have put so much kilometers on it and it still shifts well. And as far as my riding goes, no drop chains yet. This bike has a two-piston Shimano hydraulic brakes. It looks like the first owner might have swapped it from a pair of Tektros. Brake rotors of the bike are a pair of Shimano RT10 180mm. Moving on. The handlebar and the stem are both made out of aluminium. Handlebar is 740mm wide and the stem has 7 degree rise. The saddle is also from Merida. Being the cheapest in the range means this bike gets no dropper post. This bike rolls on 29 inch tubeless ready rims covered by not so tubeless ready Kenda Regulifts. The fork is a coil sprung SR Suntor XCM32 with a 46mm offset. Again, being the budget version, this bike only gets a 120mm travel fork. Comparing it to the higher end model, those have 140mm of travel. And as for its performance on the rough stuff, the Clash would enjoy it. Oh man, the fork on this one is freaking terrible. I'm already on open. I'm not gonna do any pictures today, that's for sure. 
I stand 5 feet and 4 inches and as for the sizing, I should have been riding a small but then I just like riding bikes that are just one size bigger than what I should be and it still works out great. I just need to change the cranks to 165 and that should be perfect. Alright, verdict. Should you buy this bike? Well, the answer is twofold. If you're new to mountain biking and highly likely you will not upgrade your parts it's in the first year of using it or if you're not sure if this is the sport for you I highly recommend buying this one because 29er is the in thing now and just in case mountain biking is not for you then at least it's easy to sell because it has good parts it has the Diori to 10 speed plus the hydraulic brakes however if you are an experienced mountain biker avoid the 200 go for a higher spec one because you don't need a fork that is not working well if you are an experienced mountain biker and yeah i think that's it if you like what you saw don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe peace